Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing great and that you're amazing and fabulous and all good things right now. So today's video is going to be a men's shirt refashion. I thrifted this shirt for $2.50. Can you believe that? The fabric on this was so light and airy and beautiful and it was so summery, the print as well. I was so in love with this shirt, but obviously like this, I'm not really gonna wear it much. So I decided I'd make a staple for summer and I decided to make this off shoulder top and look at that beauty. She's gorgeous. I'm in love with the off shoulder, the bell sleeves, the cropped detail. I love it all. And you're gonna see me in this top as I'm watching my Netflix, as I'm on my balcony, judging people, defying quarantine. This is a top for that. And it's super simple to make. You're just going to get really acquainted with elastic. She might be the father of your kids after this tutorial, but in case you want to learn how to make it, let me show you how to do so. So first things first, you're going to mark out the off shoulder bit. And why am I yelling? I am so sorry. <laughs> so I drew a straight line across and when I got to the shoulder bits, I curved it upwards. And this is because for off shoulder detail, you want to accommodate that curve. That way it's just easier for it to curve around your shoulders. So as you can see, that's my line. It curves, goes straight and curves. And now I'm just going to cut it out. That way we have an off shoulder template to work with. So I just use my my pair of scissors for this, took my time as usual, and once I was done, you have your off shoulder shape. So now I'm going to seam rip off the pocket, and I'm using my seam ripper for this. This is so simple to do, but if your fabric is as light as mine, just take your time and be careful. You don't want to poke her in the wrong way because she's gonna clap back, okay? Just take your time. You don't want any holes in your final top, so just make sure you go slowly, take all the time you need, baby girl, stay at home, do not go out, it's not safe yet. Anyway, who am I to know? It's not like the cases are going up. Anyway, once you're done seam ripping, the pocket will come right off. And once she's off, she can just go to the bin. We don't need her anymore. So now I'm going to open up the shirt and that way it gives me a lay of the land and I can see everyone. That way I can decide who's getting eliminated. So I decided to seam rip off the buttons. They had to go. Make sure you recycle them because you never know when someone needs a button to get married to, okay? So after that was done, I took off the button packets on either side and this is because this fabric was so bulky, I didn't need that kind of energy in my life, okay? So I just got rid of the button packets on both sides and now we have no button packets, no bulkiness, we're ready to move on into our new relationships, happy with our new man. <laughs> so I'm just going to close this up at the back and this is going to be the back of my top. So I'm just pinning the fabric together, that way I can easily sew the two pieces together and everything will be nice and closed up. So just going to do a basic straight stitch. If you're using stretchy fabric, use a zigzag stitch, but just sew along the edge. That way the bottom packet is shut. They're now committed. They have to get children together or not. It's a free world. They don't have to get kids, but they have to stay together. This is a permanent commitment. So they're going to have to find a way to be together. And when sewing, always take out your pins. Pins can break your needle. And when you get to the end, always make sure you backstitch and also backstitch at the beginning. That way your stitches don't unravel. So once the two pieces are joined together, there we go. I also surged that raw edge. If you don't have a serger, just use the overlock stitch on your sewing machine. This is just to prevent fraying. That way your fabric top beautiful creation lasts long. And this is what that looks like. So now that that's done, it's time to double hem the top. So to do this, you're just going to fold in the fabric once, then fold it again, hold it down and stitch a straight stitch all around. This just helps your fabric look neater and it also prevents fraying. Trust me, fraying is that ex-boyfriend who just comes back to ruin your life. Do not take him back, sweetie, okay? Just prevent fraying at all costs. So as you can see, I'm folding in the fabric twice and then just doing a basic straight stitch across the folded edge. This you could literally do in your sleep. It's so easy. And when you get to a bulky point, don't 
don't be afraid to guide your fabric with your other hand and once that's done continue stitching and you will be here for like five minutes honestly I've done this so many times I'm used to it but in case you're not good at this do not worry it comes with time and practice you will get better at this so when you get to a bulky point guide your fabric let her know you are the one to be followed and once you're done backstitch and look at that beauty this is so gorgeous and it's not going to unravel which is fabulous now that the top is done it's time to make the line so I know a lot of people will be like why are you taking your time to draw this line it is one and a half inches from the top edge and I did this all around my shirt and this is because it's going to make it very easy for you to sew your elastic so usually people just freehand this like just go in the dark and just sew it but I found having a guide especially with elastic is essential because it just helps you sew neatly neatly and beautifully and elastic is really difficult to get out and it leaves a lot of holes in your fabric if you get it wrong so I recommend you do this take your time mark out lines that you can follow when you're pulling your elastic so I decided on one and a half inches from the top and all you saw me do is just mark out these points all around the perimeter of my top so I did this through the shoulders I did this on the top bits the back bits I just made sure I had a guide for each and every point this will change your life so once I had all my points marked out I'm just going to show you guys a line so as you can see at the front there's a line going through and it passes through the shoulders it goes all the way to the back so it goes all around the perimeter of my top and this is just going to make it super easy to sew the elastic I promise you I know it's an extra step but it's so worth it so now you're going to measure a piece of elastic that fits snug around your shoulders make sure this isn't too tight so that you're unable to breathe just make it comfortable enough to keep your top up and once you have your piece of elastic we're going to join the two ends together that way we can form a loop so I'm just going to sew a zigzag stitch across this point and this is just going to secure my elastic and once that's done as you can see she is a married woman she is committed she's not going anywhere so now it's time to divide this elastic bit into four points and this will just make it easier to sew it onto your top so I just marked the midpoints and pinned those pieces together and now I'm just going to use the midpoints to mark the third point on my right so dividing this into four just makes your work easier elastic is really tricky to sew you just need to learn the maneuvers the tricks you just need to know what she likes that way you can please her okay so this is a step that will help you so much in sewing elastic so once it's divided into four bits as you can see the pins are shining in all their glory now it's time to move on to the shirt and do the same thing so I'm going to use the back seam to find the midpoint for the front since we don't have any sort of seam at the front we need to make this as accurate as we can so I use the back seam put a pin in place and once you have that point put a pin in the back seam as well and once you've put a pin through the back seam you're going to join these two pins together they're about to have a baby wow no that is intense I'm so sorry so just join the two pins together and use it to find the third point put a pin through the third point as well and you're going to join the two pins again and find the third the fourth point sorry on the other side so once you've divided your top into four equal bits it's now time to attach your elastic so all I'm doing is I'm matching up the pins on the elastic to the pins on the top so I got rid of one pin and that's going to be the pin on the top so once I was sure that they were perfectly aligned I pinned the elastic in place and this is where you're going to sew so you're going to do this all around your top match up the two pins take your time make sure they're in the same line they're going in the same direction they have the same goals their relationship is going to work out and take your time with this honestly there's no need to rush this you'd rather take your time and have a good product rather than rush this and have a shoddy top it's not worth it honestly so you're going to do this all around your top at all four points make sure you match up the pins on the elastic pin it onto your top and once that's done once you have your four points you have four points and they're just going to make it so much easier to sew your elastic so my four points are here they are ready to come to the party so you're just going to stretch your elastic as you sew and this is going to gather your fabric and you're going to sew a zigzag stitch all around the top bit 
it. So moving on to the sewing machine, you're going to do a few stitches and then back stitch a bit. And this will secure your elastic before you put pressure on her. So mark a pin point, grab it at the pin and really stretch the elastic. And as you can see, I'm really holding the elastic taut. I'm making sure to put her under pressure cause this gal performs under pressure. She's a last minute kind of gal. When you tell her it's time to show up, she shows up, but you have to push her to do so. So just stretch the elastic as you sew, make sure you're sewing a zigzag stitch. And as you can see, I'm just using my pins and really stretching the elastic. So if you don't have the four points, you're easily going to gather your elastic unevenly and you'll have weird gathers around your top. So just having even points, make sure your product is even and no one knows that you're forever alone, single, depressed, and you sew your own clothes because you are broke as well. No one needs to know that. So just stretch your elastic. This is so therapeutic, but it puts a lot of pressure on your fingers as well. I was holding on to dear life in this and you can even see a vein popping out to my hand like this elastic was not going to play me honey I made sure she was held down and she was going to perform as she was supposed to I didn't need excuses everything else in my life is falling apart this elastic does not need to so once the elastic is sewn on look at that stretch baby girl and now you have beautiful gathered fabric around your shoulders so now I'm just marking 10 inches from the elastic bit and this is how long my top will be if you want it long Longer, feel free to make it longer it's your world don't judge me for what I choose to wear and I will not judge you this is for all those people in my comment section that are like oh my god I would never wear this you're so courageous so much skin girl no it's just called liking what I like I don't judge you for your choices so just let me be anyway I got sidetracked I'm just marking 10 inches from the elastic bit and drawing a straight line across that 10 inch point and this is going to be the length of my top I wanted her a bit cropped to show some tummy because it's summer but I also wanted her to be flared and beautiful so once I had my straight line marked out I decided to cut the two pieces separately I was kind of unsure if this line was straight so I cut out the front bit first and then I cut out the back bit honestly I don't know what I'd have done if this was not straight but thank god it turned out fine so I'm just cutting through the line and honestly having a line to guide you is so beneficial it's like having an older sibling who does all the mistakes that way you can repeat them out of your own will not because you don't know any better so even at the fabric in case it's not straight my line is never straight so once your top is cut out it's now time to double hem the bottom bit that way it doesn't fray on you fraying will crush your dreams we need to stop her okay so fold in your fabric twice and then do a straight stitch all around to hem your top I did this off camera but it's the same way we did the top bit and look at that it's beautiful it's neat it prevents fraying 10 out of 10 recommend so the next bit I'm doing I thought it would make it easier to mark out my points so I pinned the two pieces of fabric together and now I'm just marking out three inches from the bottom this is how high up my elastic would be you can make it longer or shorter it's your world baby girl and we're just living in it so I marked the points all around you're only going to see me do the front but I also did the back bit it. and again this is going to be a guide for your elastic it's just going to make life easier so measure a piece of elastic around your under boob make sure it's comfortable it's snug it's holding you tight and then you're going to sew the two ends together and divide the elastic into four points just like we did for the top elastic so now I'm going to find the midpoint at the front so since the back of this top already has a seam because we joined two sides together we need to find the midpoint of the front so I joined the side seams together and I marked the midpoint and once I had my midpoint attaching my elastic would be super easy so here's my point at the front I'm just showing it to you guys and I pinned a bit of elastic to that point and I'm going to pin another pin to the side seam of my top and then I'm going to flip this over to the back and pin a pin on the back seam as well so as you can see dividing your elastic 
plastic is going to take an extra minute, but it will be so worth it. So you're going to do the same thing we did for the top. You're going to stretch the elastic as you sew and sew a zigzag stitch. Again, this is so easy. Just make sure you're using the pins as a guide and really stretch that elastic. Find out if she's been telling your secrets to the government, although they're always spying on us. So honestly, it makes no difference, but just test her. Find out if she's a loyal friend. So really stretch on her, sew your zigzag stitch, and once that's done, your elastic will be attached to your top. And as you can see, beautiful, it stretches, it's accommodating, and turns out she is a loyal friend. So once everything is nice and sewn, it's now time to create the space for the bell sleeves. So I made sure to mark out a line just above that bulky seam on the sleeves. So I'm going to cut across that point. That way our top doesn't have any bulkiness. Remember it's 2020, all negative vibes are being left at the door. So I'm going to use the sleeve bit I cut out as a template on the other side. That way my sleeves are nice and even and everything looks super profesh. So I'm just going to use it as a template, cut off the bit of sleeve, get rid of it. So now we're just going to measure a piece of elastic around our bicep or wherever you want the elastic at the top bit to sit. And once I had my piece of elastic, it's time to mark out a path for her. So I marked an inch from the armpit point and then three inches from the elastic at the top. You can vary this measurement, it's totally up to you. I then joined the two pieces together using my ruler, a straight line. And again, this would be a guide for me when I was sewing my elastic. So I flipped the sleeve over so that I could repeat this on the other side, three inches from the top elastic, an inch from the armpit, and then I joined the two points using my ruler. So having a guide for your elastic honestly will change your life. It will make sewing elastic less problematic and hellish. So just do this step, it costs you nothing. So using the side seam as a guide, I'm going to pin one end of the elastic to the side seam and then take it all around my sleeve and pin the other end onto the side seam as well. So this is going to loop around your sleeve and gather it and it just adds an interesting effect at the top of your sleeve that I really liked. So there are my points and you're just going to zigzag stitch all around to attach your elastic. I did this off camera because we've sewn elastic a lot in this tutorial. So now we're working on the bottom bit of the fabric and I'm just separating it into two bits. I got rid of the bulky side seams as well on both sides. So just cut along the side and then get rid of the bulky side seam and you're ready to move on to greener pastures and be a new woman. So now we have two pieces that are going to form our bell sleeves and you're going to sew a basting stitch all along the top bits of both pieces. You want to be able to gather this to fit your hand so just do this, it just helps your life be easier. So I'm setting my machine to a straight stitch, I like stitch number one, and then I'm increasing my length to the maximum length, mine's five. So to sew a basting stitch, you need to have a lot of hanging thread, and then you're going to do a straight stitch all across the top of your fabric. When you get to the end bit, do not backstitch, just simply take out your fabric, make sure you also have a lot of hanging thread at the end, and this is going to help you gather your fabric. So you're going to grab the top thread and gather your fabric by hand. At this point, you can call your family, you can call your loved ones if you don't have anyone. I'm here for you, I hope you're doing great mentally, I hope you're keeping sane and physically and everything, I just hope you are doing okay. Once you've gathered your fabric enough to know if you need to stop gathering, just Align this with the sleeve bit you're going to attach this to and make sure it fits perfectly. So I did this a few times and this is the last time I did it. So I measured this around my sleeve bit and she was a perfect match. Tinder was in her favor and this was going to work out. So I'm just going to remove that pinned bit because now I know my fabric is enough. And on that ruffled bit, I'm going to tie a knot on both sides. That way my ruffle bit doesn't move about and become longer. I don't need her telling my boyfriend that I'm an actual psycho girlfriend who could find his ex from 30 years ago. Like, don't try me, okay? My boyfriend doesn't need to know that, so I need to keep the ruffle bit in check. So now we're just going to put this right sides together, and as you can see, our sleeve is starting to come together. So pin the sides together, that way you can sew across the pins. If you've pinned everything and you're happy with it, you're just going to sew a straight stitch to close up your sleeve. So at the sewing machine, I did my straight stitch. I took out my pins as I was sewing, because I don't want to break my needles and have to spend $10 on a new set. I'm too broke, honey. We need to make this work. 
So just sew your straight stitch across the edge and once you get to the end, back stitch for good luck. 2020 might just turn around when you back stitch. So I'm also going to serge that raw edge and this is to prevent fraying. If you don't have a serger, use your overlock stitch. And once you're done serging that raw edge, you now have your two bell sleeves and they're ready to attach to your top. So mark that curve bit, observe each other, see each other, note the position of the side seam as well and this is going to help you put this sleeve in the right way. So you're going to turn it upside down and shove it into that sleeve bit. So I'm going to put this two pieces right sides together, make sure they're right sides together and align the side seam you just observed and saw each other with. Make sure you see her again and you're going to align her with the side seam on your shirt. So just align the two pieces together and everything else will fall into place. So you're going to pin all around the entire edge and this is going to make it easier for you to sew. So go stretching your fabric a bit, make sure she's lying down correctly she's not disobeying anyone and she's being a good citizen she's paying her taxes she's watering her plants and she's doing everything she can okay so you're going to pin all around the entire edge and as you can see once everything is nice and pinned you're going to sew a basting stitch all around so this is to temporarily hold your pieces together this is not permanent this is a side thing okay it's an fwb situation this is just a side thing to hold the position until your actual prince charming boyfriend comes along so the basting stitch is just a side piece of action to keep you busy. So once you've sewn your basting stitch all around, make sure you don't back stitch at all. You're going to measure a piece of elastic around your arm and I made this tight. This was so tight, my arm literally had no circulation, so do not make this as tight as me. So once you have a comfortable piece of elastic, you're going to sew this right beneath your basting stitch and you're going to align that and you're going to use a basting stitch as a guide. It's going to form a straight line that you can follow as you sew your elastic. Do not forget to stretch your elastic as you sew and you will be done with this project. So at the sewing machine, which we have been at for the last minute, sorry, I'm just doing my zigzag stitch and really pulling that elastic. I'm telling her I was waiting for her and the other basting stitch was just a side thing. She is my one true love and I am here for life. So once you've sewn your elastic, make sure you back stitch at the end and once you've done that your elastic is now attached to your top so as you can see there's a lot of fraying so I decided to serge that edge as well if you don't have a serger use your overlock stitch I have said that so many times but it's true it serves the same purpose though not as great as a serger but it will hold your fabric together so once you're done serging that edge you are literally done with your project so now it's just time to take out that sleeve take her out of her shell she She's now ready to shine and be glorious. By the way, make sure you take out the basting stitch before you turn this the right way out. And once you turn everything the right way out, you have your beautiful summer top. I love this top. As I told you, it's super simple to make, but it is a labor of love. But the off-shoulder detail is always gonna be in for summer. So I'm really happy with this top. And the fabric was to die for. It was amazing to work with. So I really hope you guys try this DIY for yourselves it's really easy to do and I promise you it'll be so worth it if you do try it make sure you tag me in your pictures on your stories on Instagram I love to see them and I always make sure to comment and like it because you guys are amazing and you literally have skills that are out of this world anyway guys I'm off to throw out all the elastics I have in my house because I am sick and tired of elastic after this tutorial but I really enjoyed your company in today's video and I hopefully will see you in my next one. Until then, make sure you social distance when you're outside, wear your mask, wash your hands, sanitize, and just stay safe. See you guys soon. Bye.